time to play, and I think it's a good thing for our guys. Uh, it's a good thing for us as a coaching staff uh, to have somebody to go out and play and to get under the lights and uh, you know, just really see how we do. Uh, this team is going to be a continual work in progress. Uh, we've got a lot of work to do. Uh, we see you know things that we like, and we're encouraged by probably more so than anything that we feel like we make a little progress every day. And you know, if we tell the guys we have to focus on something, there's a great effort to go out and do that in practice, and we feel like we get better at it. Uh, we always have to then come back to it again. Uh, but I think it's a team that uh, is going to be like that as the year goes on. We, we have an awful lot of work to do, but it's going to be good to get out and, and play somebody else. And then I think it's going to be good to have the kind of challenge we'll have in Kentucky Wesleyan with a team that you know, returns uh, some key guys, a couple of which were terrific scores for them. Uh, they're obviously very well coached, and, and uh, you know, they've gotten a, a little a little bit under their belt and, and, and having a, a scrimmage and never played an exhibition-type game. And so, uh, you know, we'll, we'll go out and we'll see how all those things go tomorrow. We'll, we'll have uh, all of our bodies available. You know, Devontae's been able to work back into practice and uh, it's, it's been cleared as full go. And, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know that he's at anywhere near at his best where he's going to get to because he was out for several weeks. But, uh, you know, everybody will be available. And you know, it'll be a situation where, you know, tomorrow when, when it's time for the game to start, we'll, we'll have five guys out there. No, no, I don't know who they are right now. We're, we're, we're going on practice performance. and and how those things go and some other variables. And you know, as I've said before, to me, it doesn't matter a lot. I know it matters to a lot of people. And I'm not sure it matters all that much to our guys, to be honest with you. And it, it could be a fluid thing that might, might, might change or, or it might not. I think the bottom line is for us to be our best. You know, there are several guys, many more than five anyway, are going to have to play more than you know, 15, 20 minutes a game. And so I think that's important uh, you know, mindset for us to have as a team. Uh, moving forward. But we're excited about it, and I think our guys especially are ready to get out and play, and uh, we'll do like we've been doing in, in practice every day. We'll prepare, and we'll go out and we'll play, and we'll see what we need to get better at, and come back the next day and go back to work. Darren, will you have like a, a game plan for the gamers that pretty much just kind of go out and see what everybody can do, and you know, since it's their first action on the floor? Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's more, you know, especially early in the season, really in any game, it's more about what you do, and, and we'll really have that mindset all year long, to be honest with you, Dave, that, you know, what do we need to be focused on to, to be best uh, and, and you know the thing that we keep talking about with our guys that will be uh, again a continued thing that we have to learn and grow and get better at is you know doing what you do individually and doing it with consistency uh, so that we can count on that every night and that's that's been a real push and emphasis for us in practice and I, I think for the most part there's been a good focus on that and they've done a good job with it but you know tomorrow will be you know, much more about you know ourselves and focusing on that as, as really it will be uh, all year long I think more so than any specific with this being an exhibition game and you having such a young team, do you look at the tape after the game and kind of use that as where you want to go for the rest of the season in terms of how you rotate players in and out? Yeah, you know, I mean, I, th I think we'll play it like a game, which means, you know, we'll, 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 we'll start with some five and, and start making some substitutions and see who's playing well and, and how guys work together and, you know, what's going on with the flow of the game and score and time and score and all those kind of things. And, you know, we'll use it like we will throughout the year of, of how it went to learn from it, teach from it. And, you know, that, I don't know that we'll make any decisions that will be set for the year moving forward, you know, based on an exhibition game. But I, I think we'll approach it like we will any other game in terms of our preparation and how we evaluate it and how we move forward after it. You had mentioned that there were some things that you thought the team had approved on during practice and some teams are still some things they need to work on. What are some of those things? Yeah, you know, I, I think offensively, you know, we're, we're sharing the ball really well. Uh, and that's something that's got to be a huge focus for us, you know, I, I think. <clears throat> You know, again, I don't, I don't know that we're having a guy that's going to go out and get us 20 every night. But I think collectively, you know, we, 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 we feel like we've got a, a pretty good skill set and several guys that are capable of doing some things. And, you know, just sharing the basketball, making the extra pass, you know, those kind of things. That, that, that's been good. Again, you know, you get out under the lights and sometimes that thing, that kind of stuff goes out the window. So, uh, but that, that, that's been a real positive. Right? And I think defensively our, our, our effort has been a real positive. We've got a long way to go uh, before we're good defensively, and I would stand here and tell you that. But uh, I think, you know, as I mentioned, focusing on a particular aspect on a given day, we've done a good job of trying to carry that out and get better in those areas. You know, the one big thing that, that's not going um, – as well as it's going to need to, and, and I don't think this is a surprise to us, but it's you know it's apparent. You know, we've, we've got to be better at rebounding the basketball. You know, we've got to be a team that I think offensively we can be an outstanding rebounding team. Uh, defensively, we're going to have to really focus and commit to being a good lockout team and hitting people and being aggressive and gang rebounding and all five guys and, and then all of those kind of things. And you know we we've got to get make major strides.
in that area, so that'll be interesting to see tomorrow. Are there any particular things that you took out of the scrimmage the other day that you really learned from? You know, again, you know, it's one time. Uh, it's, it's, it's early. I, mean, I think we uh, approached it like we will tomorrow night or any other game that we play this year. You know, I think we took some positives individually from you know a few things that happened and how some guys played and some things they did. Uh, you know, I think we, we learned some stuff about um, you know things we need to get better at and uh, you know all those boring things that, that coaches talk about. And I don't know that I would zero in on any one or two particular things with it being you know scrimmage this early in the year. I guess Leonard in particular was a name I heard maybe looked pretty good. In, in, in particular? Yeah. yeah. He well, might have stood out, so I'm asking you. As you know, I'm not allowed to comment on how a scrimmage went or okay. uh, uh, you know any particulars with that. But I think all of our guys in general have, have done pretty good. And, and, and again, what, what is perceived as good and, and, and what is good sometimes are two different things. You know, Damien's going to have a lot of nights where he makes shots because he can do that. And uh, he's going to look really good. And we may evaluate the film and not be as happy with how he played as, as kind of maybe the general public might be. Uh, so, I mean, I, I, I wouldn't take any negatives away uh, from our experience over the weekend in terms of, well, that guy was awful. We didn't get anything out of him. I just, you know, and, and again, when that does happen, I, I think, you know, it's important as a coaching staff more so than anything to, to keep in mind and understand that you know, we've got two guys that have really kind of been through this. And everybody else, even though we've got several sophomores that had quite a bit of playing time last year, that's still a continual work in progress and still learning. And so you know, we're trying to approach it that way. And, and they've responded really well to it to this point. And again, you know, we'll see how it goes tomorrow. With Damien and Anthony, are they, for freshmen, are they ahead of the curve a little bit, behind the curve? Where do you place them right now heading into this? Uh, that's a really good question, Bill. I, I think in general, mentally, uh, you know, they're a little further along than a lot of freshmen are just because uh, they've got a great deal of confidence uh, in what it is that they do and how they play the game. Uh, they both approach it that way every day. Uh, and I think that uh, they're a little further along, in all honesty, than I thought they would be in terms of just the, the normal freshman adjustments, you know, especially on the defensive end. Uh, it's always a challenge, I think, uh, for guys. Uh, you know, that being said, they, they have their, you know, their, their moments and, and do some things. And, you know, we're more focused on, again, the stuff that maybe everybody else isn't focused on. You know, I was watching film the other night uh, of practice, and, uh, you know, during practice I'm more focused on defense and effort and, you know, some of those kind of things. And uh, I didn't realize Damian had hit like six threes in a practice. And that's not really that important to me right now. That's what he does. We feel like he'll do that. You know, some nights better than others. But getting him better at those other things, uh, like we focus on with every player, is the important stuff. And and then they've both been really pleasant surprises in that area. You talk about Damian and, and his shooting, but what is it about Anthony Gill people should look for that excites you? Is it his IQ? Is it his scoring ability? His defense? What what is it that you really like that he can help with this year? Yeah, he's just a player. You know, and I know that sounds kind of vague or whatever, but he's just a basketball player. Uh, he does a little bit of everything. He does have a good feel and understanding. He's physically ready. I mean, he finishes things with people hanging on him sometimes and that kind of thing. And he's just, he's just a basketball player. I just think our fans are really going to appreciate, uh, you know, the way he plays and, 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 and the things that he does. And, and, and to, to their credit, to all of our new guys' credit, Brent Williams included, uh, they've been phenomenal teammates. They try to do the right thing. Uh, they're really trying to become good defenders. And, you know, those are all real positive signs. And a big part of that is the leadership that we've gotten from Malik Cook and Lakeem Jackson, which has been exemplary so far. Darren, looking over the uh, course of your career as a head coach, does this team uh, remain maybe a, a more of a mystery as far as with all the new guys, as far as what you're going to get when the lights come on, the people in the stands and how they're going to work together uh, on the court? Uh, I mean, I think to some degree, uh, Rick, but I, you know, I think some of that is just based on, you know, you haven't been through enough. You know, we have a better understanding of, of what we think we're going to get uh, from sophomores. But, you know, at the end of the day, you know, especially at this level, you got to go out and do it uh, consistently. Uh, so I, I think there is some of that. I, I don't know if it's question marks in terms of what they can or can't do. It's getting them to do it uh, consistently. But, you know, I, I'll say, as I've been saying, you know, until it changes, we'll, we'll, I'll be honest with you, that you know, this has been an incredibly fun team to coach because of their attitude and work ethic, and, and maybe because it's, some things aren't as clear cut. Uh, and there is a great deal of versatility, and we will be counting on uh, on, on the whole and, and sort of the sum of the parts being greater than the whole, uh, you know, more so than than you do in some other years.